Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install Office 2016 using the Office deployment tools. Let's get into the video. Now before we begin, I'd like to mention that this will only work on Windows 7 through Windows 11. Office 2016 is not supported on Windows Vista, Windows XP, and so on. So, the first thing you need to do is click the link listed in the description below, or copy and paste it into the browser of your choice. And you'll see the Office Deployment Tool. Just click Download. You'll see it's downloading right here. And you can just click Open File or Open It. On the User Account Control pop-up, click Yes. You have to accept the license agreement. And you're going to want to select Libraries here, Documents, that again, and Make a New Folder. You can name this whatever you'd like. For this demonstration, I'll name it Office 2016. You can save it you can save it to wherever you'd like. You don't have to save it to where I have listed, but it's recommended to save it there. Click OK. And you'll see it says files extracted successfully. Click OK. Exit out of Microsoft Edge or whatever browser you're using. Open File Explorer. Navigate to your documents and the folder listed here. And you'll see all of these have been added. You can delete these two here. And click F2 or right click and click rename but I can just do this and you're going to want to delete Office 365 and the dash same thing for the x86 now that we finished renaming the XML files you're going to want to right click on configuration dash x86 right click on it and click open with if you don't get the option to choose notepad click choose another app click more apps if you have to and click notepad you'll see here it'll say add office client edition 32 channel dash current you're going to want to delete that up to the quotations right there and you're going to want to change the ID here to professional retail and if you don't want the Visio Pro you can delete that make sure that the slash add is right there. Now we're finished here, so we can just click Control S to save the document. We can exit out. And if your system is x64 or you're running a 64 bit version of Windows, you're going to want to do the exact same process for the x64 version of the configuration file. All right, now the last thing you need to do is x out of your file explorer. You're going to want to click the search and type command prompt. You're going to want to run it as administrator. Click yes on the user account control pop up. You're going to want to type cd c colon backslash users backslash whatever name your user account is. So in my case, it's Adam. So I'm going to type that backslash documents backslash office 2016. Now, what we're doing here is we're navigating to the Office 2016 folder where the extracted files are located. So what the Office 2016 here is, that's the name of the folder we created. If for whatever reason you named yours any different, you're going to want to type it exactly how it's labeled in File Explorer, however you typed it, and it needs to be case sensitive. So it's not just lowercase Office 2016, it needs to be exactly how you typed it. Next, what's the documents here? Well, we saved our folder inside the documents directory. And what's the user here? The users and the name. So the documents in the Office 2016, that's located under the user account. So we're we're signed in to the account named Adam. And we need to we need to specify which account we're doing this under. And if we're going to a different like if we're doing this into a different account, it's most likely not gonna work. So whatever account you're in, this is what you this you need to put the name that it is. You can easily check by clicking the Windows icon there, and you can see right there. And once again, it needs to be case sensitive. And what's the users here? Well, I already explained what that was. It's simply the users folder, and then inside that subdirectory, that's where the name Adam is, the folder. And what the C is here, that's just the name of our drive letter. And if for whatever reason yours is the drive letter such as D, E, F, or G, you need to go figure what, what drive letter that is in File Explorer. So make sure to put a backslash at the end. I kind of forgot. 
but make sure you need to you do that and hit enter. You'll see we're inside the directory now. What you need to type is setup.exe slash configure configuration dash now if you're running the 64 bit machine you need to type x64.xml but if you're running a 32 bit machine you need to type x86.xml if you're running windows 11 then it's only 64 bit so you won't have to worry about that just type x64.xml but if you're running windows 7 through windows 10 your machine could potentially be x66 like 32 bit so you need to go check whatever architecture it is so in my case this is 64 bit so i'm going to do x64 dot xml hit enter and you'll notice that the office application it straight up opens up and you'll see you get the pop-up here please stay online while office downloads will be done in just a moment you'll need to have some patience and just wait do something in the meantime and once it finishes we'll be back and there we go it's finished installing what you can do now is click close you can close out of the command prompt and you can go over to your search and you can search up apps such as PowerPoint and you can see they've been added you can search up Word Excel OneNote Outlook everything that's included in Office 2016 so thanks for watching I hope this video helped you out if it did, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and comment if this video helped you out. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.